What's up guys, it's Scott back again with another video and in this video we're going to be talking about the Supreme Week 11 drop. I didn't make any videos last week mainly because this is finals week if you're in college, which I am. I'm a sophomore in case y'all didn't know. So I was studying for finals and the week 10 drop wasn't anything too crazy. So that's why I want to go ahead and make a video about week 11 because this week is pretty hype. Now the whole theme for this week is like diamond plated stuff, which is why the Zippo lighter, picture up on screen right now, the Zippo lighter is going to res tail for $54. It's a silver diamond plated Zippo with a silver box logo across it. I think this lighter is probably going to go for about triple uh, the retail in uh, for resale value. It's probably going to be around $180 in my opinion, mainly because Zippo lighters always do crazy when it comes to resale. Now, being scheme, I want to go ahead and talk about the Supreme Vans collaboration. Now, they're dropping three different shoes. Um, they're dropping the slip-on shoes and the high top shoes in three different colorways, which are both the same. It's red, silver, and yellow. The slip-on shoes are going to be retailing for $98, and the, <clears throat> the skater high shoes are going to retail for $110. I think the resale, I'm not really familiar with them, but I think the resale on these shoes are probably going to be about double what you pay for them. Don't take that with a grain of salt because I'm not really familiar with what the Vans with uh, the Supreme Vans collaboration that dropped last year is reselling for. But yeah, sticking with the diamond plated stuff, they are dropping a jacket and pants, both of which are not really sought after. They're not really being hyped up in the Supreme community. And that is the Supreme Workers Jacket, which is going to retail for a pretty high price of $188. I don't see this being anything too sought after and I don't see it having high resale and it is dropping in the same three colorways as the shoes which is the yellow, silver, and red. So me personally I think it's going to be a brick, don't go for it. I would go for the shoes if anything. And then they're also dropping the pants which are dropping same colorway, same pattern but they're going to be retailing for $140. Now for pretty much that exact retail price you can buy the Zippo Lighter which will probably have as much resale as what those pants retail for. And then you can also get the shoes for that. Uh, you can also get the shoes and the Zippo lighter for the pants, for the cost of the pants. So me personally, I'd be going for those over these ugly pants and the ugly jacket, in my opinion. Now, the next thing I wanna talk about is another hyped up piece. This piece is crazy. It's the Supreme Grand Prix Parka and the Grand Prix belted shorts these are if you guys know what like pfg performance fishing gear those are that type of belt on the shorts and the hoodie it's the same type of print it's the crash at the grand prix i don't know what what crash it is i don't know what race it is but there's a ton of supreme branding going on on the hoodie and the shorts so i think these are going to have some pretty high resale value now the jacket's going to run you 328 dollars and the shorts are going to be 148 dollars i think you can maybe make around 60 to a hundred dollars mainly because it's such a high retail price I just don't see the resale being too too crazy um, so I would go for that if you guys have that kind of money to spend but I'm not gonna go for that I don't even think I'm gonna go for the shorts in my opinion I'm gonna stick with the shoes and the Supreme Zippo lighter now the next thing I want to talk about is another cool little jacket which is the Supreme Blockbuster hooded sweatshirt this is going to be retailing for $158. It is a big Supreme branding across the front, which is dropping in five different colorways. A beige, a black, a red, a white, and a navy. It's retailing for $158. The resale I could see being around $200 to uh, $220, $240. Nothing too, too crazy. But it is a pretty big Supreme uh, logo across the front. So I think if you guys hold on to this, the retail or the resale is going to be there after the summer is over now the next piece i want to talk about being that this is a full dropless video is the supreme rainbow stripe t it has a really big supreme print across the front it's kind of like celtic font if that makes any sense to y'all and dropping in three different colorways which is a black and white a yellow and purple and then like a black purple and orange type of colorway this is going to be retailing for $78. I don't see the resale being there. Maybe you can get 88 bucks, but if you guys are selling on StockX, that fee, it's just going to diminish the retail or the resale value. So I wouldn't go for that, but it's up to you. I'm not a fan of it. I don't really like tie-dye print at all, so I'm not going to go for it. I think it's going to be a brick this week. 
Now, Supreme all this season has been dropping headgear. They're, they dropped the beanies. They've dropped a bunch of different hats. They've had bucket hats. Uh, they haven't dropped any dad hats, though. I want to see dad hats get dropped this, this week, but they're not going to be dropping. So they are dropping three different styles of hats. There's the Apple five-panel hat, the side zip camp cap, and the patchwork S logo six-panel hat. Uh, the five-panel hat is dropping for uh, for $44. And the side zip camp hat and the patchwork is retailing for $48 a piece. The resale is not going to be there. A lot of these, being that there is a lot of colorways, is really going to be oversaturated with just the style. So it's nothing too sought after. I'm not going to go for any of these hats. I didn't go for any in the past. Now, the last thing I want to talk to you all about is the Supreme Corner Stripe Polo Sweater. I like this even though it's a pretty high retail price for $170. You get two different colorways, which is a gray, a red, and a black, or the black, yellow, and like beige. It's really hyping this up. I kind of like it in my opinion. I'm type. Of, I'm a polo type of guy, and I think it just looks nice in my opinion. It's really asymmetrical. So that about does it for this video. If you guys like it, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on your post notifications, and I will be trying to upload on a more scheduled basis after college is out, which should be next week. So week 12, and week 13, week 14, going further into the future, it will be more scheduled uploads. Yeah, that's what it's got. Peace.